what I saw, I saw with the naked eye that we were messing it up. For those who have been to space, and there are very few of them, they talk of getting a different perspective on the planet we call home. On the day the UK recorded temperatures many thought we'd never see, NASA's top team were in London, and they told us what it's like to look at Earth from way up there. It is so beautiful, uh, and yet it looks so fragile. And that's a mission of NASA's. Uh, what is happening to our climate? What's happening to our planet? Bill Nelson, appointed to lead NASA by President Biden, flew his mission to space in 1986. It was a moment that changed his outlook on the future. And you mentioned the fragility of Earth when you're in space. What do you make of these, the heat wave and the extreme temperatures that we're getting in the UK and across Europe at the moment? Uh, it's happening on the entire planet. Uh, but it's an indicator. Uh, you know, I actually became more of an environmentalist when I went into space because what I saw and you could see with the naked eye. These are pictures from the International Space Station today. What they're recording are not just beautiful images. They can see the damage too, like the fires in southern France or in Mozambique. In fact, in many parts of the world, NASA provides 80% of the data used to assess the health of our planet. But the leaders of America's space agency readily admit where much of the damage is coming from. If you look at the world's biggest polluters, China is number one. The second biggest polluter is the United States. Thank you for calling out specifics of countries with issues. And I think it's really important to recognize that the Earth is a system. So no one country can solve this problem alone. We're going to have to work together. And are you conveying that message to your political masters as the, as the boss of NASA? I try to do that all the time, and especially now in this position at NASA. He might have flown more than 30 years ago, but NASA's current boss says there is a long-lasting effect on those who fly in space. It's called the overview effect. And this is how he explains it. When I flew, I didn't see religious division. I didn't see racial division. I didn't see political division. All the things that bedevil us on the face of the earth. What I saw was we're all in this together as citizens of the planet. 